Did Apple really just cancel their spring event? Up until a couple of days ago, every major Apple source has confirmed that there will be a spring event where Apple will announce a few things with a very strong focus on new iPads because they haven't released any in 2023. But now things might have changed in Apple world as sources are now claiming that the event may have been canceled. Well, let's explore the latest news and rumors surrounding Apple's spring event and also talk about leaks surrounding the iPad mini. If you're like me, then hearing that Apple canceled their event might come as a bit of a shocker and you might have a lot of questions like are apple even canceling all of their ipads like are they releasing any ipads in the spring i'm going to talk about that in two seconds but let's just look at the rumors first originally the rumors were stating that apple will have this spring event where they're going to announce things like a new ipad pro m3 a new ipad air 6 a new ipad mini 7 and of course an 11th gen ipad and those things were pretty much confirmed to come out in the spring so either mid to late march or early april just anytime in the spring but recently i'm talking a couple of days ago, Apple did something that a lot of people probably didn't expect to happen so soon, and they've announced the M3 MacBook Airs. Now, this was a device that we all knew was coming in 2024, but a lot of people expected that to happen a little bit later, maybe even in June in WWDC 2024. With the M3 MacBook Air, it's a little bit of a minor upgrade. It's not like the craziest difference. It's just a little bit of a spec upgrade. But with that said, it's still a new MacBook release and Apple loves spectacle. They've done events for a lot of big things. So it is surprising that they kind of released it by itself in a press release on a random Monday. If Apple knows that there is an event that they're going to be launching new products, they're gonna get a lot of media coverage, then they would announce something like a MacBook in said event. Kind of means that maybe there is not an event and Apple will be changing up the way that they're releasing it. I'm not saying that these new iPads are not coming out in April and spring. Those are pretty much confirmed to be coming out. It's really just the way that they're coming out is a little bit different. Apple will apparently announce these new products by press release instead of having an event. And this is actually put out there by Apple leaker Mark Gurman. And he's stating that yes, Apple will actually cancel or ditch their March event and announce some new products in a press release instead. He even goes further to say that Apple will be announcing new things like a new design for the Magic Keyboard, a new Apple Pencil, and of course a 12.9 inch iPad Air, which to me is a little bit interesting. And I talked about that in my last video. Now, speaking of iPads though, a lot of people had questions in my last video about the iPad mini seven. That's definitely one of the iPads that will be released in 2024 that's personally on my radar. I like the small size, I like the portability factor, and I like that it really does feel like it has the essence of a tablet. Well, according to reliable Apple leaker Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple is definitely releasing an iPad mini in 2024. The new mini will have an A17 processor, which makes it plenty powerful for multitasking, gaming, watching content, and it's the same chip that's used in the iPhone 15s of today. A lot of people might be wondering why they won't put in an M1 into that device, but really, I don't think it makes sense for that. I feel like if you're doing high productive tasks, you won't necessarily be using the iPad because of the smaller display. So Apple won't really pack all the major chips in it and still be able to do 99% of the same tasks. The iPad mini will also have an updated screen that fixes the jelly scrolling issue of the last screen, thanks to the 120 Hertz display that's in the pipeline. However, if Apple does decide to give it a 120 Hertz, that'll make it kind of a weird quirk in the iPad lineup that's already a little bit hard to choose because given the newest iPad mini, the 120 Hertz display, while the iPad Air does not have a 120 Hertz display, creates a little bit more of a conflict. The cameras on the iPad mini 7 will also have an updated camera modules that are similar to the iPhone 15 making it a lot better for people that take pictures on their tablet. And while the bigger iPads, it's a little bit weird to take pictures, you can get a pass with the smaller iPads because they're a smaller form factor and it kind of doesn't look as weird. But I think personally, the number one thing regarding the iPad mini that I'm most excited about is that it will no longer come in a base model at 64 gigs. According to leaks and rumors, it will have 128 gigs to start with. And that is a huge difference, double the storage because 64 gigs in 2024 is not it. And I'm very happy that Apple is potentially moving away from that. Let me know what you think about Apple canceling their upcoming event and what iPad you're most excited for. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I'm responding to all comments. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.